Welcome to the 10th edition of Antigua Forum. We're here with Elise Westhoff. She's president and CEO of the Philanthropy Roundtable. Thank you very much for being with us. Maybe to start our first question of the day, I would like to know, and probably people back home who are watching this video would like to know, what do you understand as philanthropy and what is it, what is it its role for a free society? Philanthropy is um, the people who want to contribute to charitable organizations, and you can do that in a variety of ways. It's individuals, foundations, corporations, all kinds of people, and it's pe donors who are giving a lot of money a year, you know, millions and millions of dollars, all the way to people who are putting a dollar into their church or synagogue um, basket every week. So, um, and I think. The role that philanthropy plays in society has become even more clear um, during this pandemic. In times of crisis, philanthropy is quick and nimble, where government uh, sometimes cannot be. And so it's really, you know, it plays a very important role. And um, in terms of strengthening a free society, one of the things that we do at the Philanthropy Roundtable is bring together donors who share values and want to advance liberty, opportunity, and personal responsibility and help them think about how they can be strategic. A lot of people you know, give to charitable causes and don't realize that they might be undermining their own values through their giving. And so we help them think about how they can be effective and invest in organizations that are promoting their values rather than undermining them. So we have, um, we have events where we bring people together to talk about um, things like K through 12 education. So for instance, you know, during COVID, mm -hmm. there were many people who uh, wanted to help, felt, saw what was happening in the schools, wanted to help them pivot, um, but didn't necessarily know the way to do that. So we kind of looked through the lens of our values, brought people together, to discuss the best ways to, you know, to help schools pivot and really get them to invest in projects that are highly valuable, that um, align with our values. And I think right now, particularly in education, there's an enormous opportunity um, that we and our movement need to seize uh, because people, parents, and you know, society at large see uh, the issues with the system, and so. I think we're helping donors think strategically about how we can meet this moment and actually make change. And what type of challenges do, do you normally have to face um, from, from that perspective? I think, you know, the biggest challenge is that, again, donors don't often realize that um, the opportunities that are out there mm -hmm. to advance their values. And so th they think of philanthropy, and by the way, there's lots of different ways to give and lots of different causes, and we don't necessarily think one is better than the other, um, but donors often fall in the trap of, I'm going to give a million dollars to my alma mater without really realizing that their alma mater might be doing things that uh, you know, they really don't agree with and, and helping to promote things that are just completely antithetical to what they believe. Um, I wanted to know, Elise, if you could tell me what ideas you have of how culture changes or how to enact social change to better promote those values you were telling or you were saying, I think, that. Some people don't know very much how to do that, and that's where um, associations such as yours really comes in. But I wanted to know if you had any, what your reflections or ideas are about how to create social change. I think that we need to think about the things that, um, the stories that have come out through, throughout COVID. Um, we're very good at data and numbers in our movement and, and statistics. And I think we need to continue being very good at that because that's how you, that's ultimately um, a really important part of, of conveying your message. 
But we also have to be better, and I think everybody knows this, and it's been talked about for a long time, but better storytellers and, and really reaching people um, with, with emotionally. And that's how, you, that's how you change hearts and minds. And we haven't been particularly good at that. So I think that's something that we that a lot of people are now focusing on mm-hmm. um, in our movement. New organizations are popping up that are that are working on that very thing. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thanks. The more people we have who are talented, who who understand uh, what the next generation is thinking about, um, how to reach people's hearts rather than just their brains, the more successful we'll be as a movement.